to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Hot 97 Ebro in the Morning. Uh, we've been uh, mentioning it all morning that, um, and if you if you don't know, you're about to know, there's a documentary on Netflix um, about the Yusef Hawkins murder. And uh, it came out about, uh, what you, about a week ago? Yes, it's called A Storm yeah. Over Brooklyn on like, HBO Max. So we encourage you all to go. Oh, I keep saying Netflix. It's HBO Max. My bad. Um, HBO Max. Um, Patty Duke, who has worked at Hot 97 for over 25 years, in the documentary, is brought in as one of the accomplices in the murder of Yusuf Hawkins. Fam, when I tell you, when people saw that up here, A, we didn't know the documentary was coming out. And B, when people saw it, it was like, what? Word. In the it was world? Shocking. Shocking. I know when I that saw it, I was like, what is happening? Well, if you so, want to lift, lift up the curtain completely, I remember the day we were sitting here because Shawnee said it was mentioned to him. Yeah. And then Shawnee texted us a clip and was like, did y'all see this? And all of us at the same time were like, uh, oh my God! Yeah, I don't know if I was going to play the Homer Simpson drop, but yeah, we all did feel that way. We were like, "What the hell is this?" And so, at that moment, um, behind the scenes, corporate started to go to work to figure out who knew what, when Patty was hired, and what was going to be the response because this wasn't going to just be allowed to fly. Right, um, and it's important to know, Ebro, how long he's been here. Like, he's probably one of the o- oldest people that have been in the building, older than anybody on the show. Anybody that I know that's currently working with the exception of one or two people at WBLS. Yeah. Well, and, and so with that, you know, the real, the realization is um, that this couldn't just be swept under the rug, obviously, and so he's been fired. He, for the last many, I guess, decade or more, has worked in the production department uh, doing commercials, recording, yes. editing, making sure commercials hit the airwaves. He's not a VP. He's not a crazy exec <laughs> like people are making it out to be. And by the way, for everybody accusing us, how did you not know? First of all, he never used his real name. We well, people, all know listen, him as Patty Duke. Laura, Laura. I Laura, never even knew his are, real name. People are going to be mad at us. They need to be mad at somebody. Which and, is fine, but I just want to put some clarity now that we can talk about it because we couldn't say anything. And now it's like, you know how we all, I know Cass One's real name because it's in his corporate email, but in all the emails that we use with Patty, just say Patty Duke. It never says Well, let me ask name. you this, since you're going there, even if you did know Patty's name, what are you going to do, run Googles on people, that everybody you, you that should. you work with to I, know exactly. what their background is? No, no, no. you got here in 2009, you're going to be like, hey, dude, Fact. nice to meet you. What's your information? I'm going to look some things up. That's just <laughs> right. how people operate. No, no, no. Right. Well, you're and that's why I don't right. even want to go down that path. Right. I want to focus absolutely on right. the fact that we... As a station, had to confront this head on, um, and you know, look, I've had conversations with Patty Duke, and he told me he got swept up in the Yusef Hawkins situation. He also told me he didn't have nothing to do with it. A while ago, this was. I told you this. This was. Whew, man, it had to be more than like eight, ten years ago. Mm. I didn't know he had a misdemeanor though. Because he did get charged with a misdemeanor, so, and so I didn't, and I didn't know that his, I didn't know that his record had been expunged. That's mm. key because even if they did a background check today, it wouldn't have come up. And based on what I know about the NYPD, neighborhoods getting swept up around a murder—that's normal procedure, especially in the late '80s and '90s. Everybody, if you was, if you was outside, if you was near the park, if you were. Anywhere around, you getting swept up. That's true. Period. Now, mind so you're you, saying so it was believable. So when he presented it to you like that, you're like, okay, yeah. yeah. They put they putting you on the lineup. And and what am I going to say to a guy I'm working with? I don't believe you. Right, a guy who was hired ten, way before you were hired. Clearly, people have known this guy longer than I have. And if everybody's good with it, we all here together. Fam, mm-hmm. there was a t- Ed Lover just tweeted. He wrote. All my years at Hot 97, I had no idea until this recent documentary that came out that Patty Duke had anything to do with the murder of Yusuf Hawkins. It's sickening and sad. And that's Ed Lover. Yeah. He better guess who was here before me. Ed Lover? 90, 90, what, 90, 
when the station started. That was when it started, bro. Yeah. That at was the first Andres morning was the first show. morning show yeah, when, once we turned to Hot 97. At least Andres. So, you know, that's that's the real on what we uh, are dealing with right now here at Hot 97. And there's no way to get around it. And there's no way to, you know, people going to be mad. People going to accuse. People going to throw rocks. People going to do all of that. And we're going to have to sit here with it. This ain't the first time that we've had to deal with some some drama. And like I said earlier, you know, um, on behalf of our team on Ebro in the Morning, I can say that we apologize that this is even happening. It was out of our control, but we apologize and we're here now. We've inherited something that we have to, as a team, deal with the brunt of. And that's just what it is. Yeah. I mean, and for people who are not familiar with the story, watch the documentary, Storm Over Brooklyn. It's a RIP to US Yousef Hawkins because yesterday was 31 years since he passed. And this and was since he was reminded, killed. Since he was killed. Since, since he was murdered. And you Lynched, will be reminded some people of just how horrifying the, the relationship was between Italians and black people in New York City in the 80s. And the Italians way Italians and blacks, treated. Jews and blacks, mm-hmm. racism, racism in New York City. And by the way, I'm 45. People 40 and older, they remember this vividly. And just like this Patty Duke scenario, for us, individuals who were close to this in some way, shape, or form, or are from neighborhoods that, make no mistake, even to this day, black people don't go through Bensonhurst like that. (laughs) That's a fact. Howard Beach... Remember the Howard Beach incident? Yeah, yeah of course. And, and Staten Island. People don't really have with Staten Island like that. Right. And it's improved, but it's based off the reputation of those times. And the reason I bring that up is because the fabric of the individuals that shaped that energy, those individuals are still in positions here in the city. And I bring that up because... N- as one of the institutions of New York radio that Hot 97 is, it affected us too. Man. The baggage of racism in New York City. So when and people think- try to act like New York City has changed, it's working to change. And if you think it's bad that um, uh, the guy who produced commercials at the radio station being connected to it is bad... Imagine the other places where people connected to things like that are that you're not aware of positions of power. So who are now they were 18, 19. Then they're in their mid 40. What Duke is what Patty Duke's what? Almost 50. Yeah, Something like that. 50. So um, once again, um, my apologies that we're, we have to bring up these wounds and deal with this pain in this manner. Um, and that it is was a part of uh, our team here at Hot 97. 